What's going on everybody is Jelly also known as Jelly's World here with another video It is actually just a couple days after our last video unboxing all those uh, pieces As y'all can see it's a fucking mess I still haven't folded all the pieces from last video But unexpectedly uh, I got a, two big ass packages right here Already opened up We got 250 plus pieces right here for y'all already folded As example we're going to be showing off in this video Main purpose of this video You got the LA, uh, LA Kings wrap around AOP you Got the Barry White Earth, Wine and Fire Oh, Charlotte Hornets, Shadow T, AOP, really dope one. So yeah, we got 250 plus pieces. We got extra right here. If you guys didn't know, I'm a big seller on Whatnot. Whatnot is a live streaming platform for selling vintage clothing, memorabilia, shoes, anything you really want. I purposely, uh, what's it called, focus on vintage clothing. What I mainly do is I run a lot of these pieces that I show off in these videos for a dollar on my Whatnot, also known as Jelly's World on Whatnot, so you guys can go bookmark and follow every show. Um, so yeah, 318, I'm gonna be uh, going live with Faded, one of the biggest shows of whatnot. I'm gonna be bringing a bunch of this shit that I'm showing off. Um, but yesterday I had a live on Monday, March 11th with my boy Top Shelf Chris, as you guys, some of you guys know, uh, he's in a lot of the videos, he's in probably every video. So yeah, we're, we already packaged every, uh, every package, every shirt that we had to package, and we're gonna go drop it off, and I'm gonna take y'all with me. Yes, who just showed up, boys. Top Shelf Supplies. Yes, hey, Bro. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Get in. Hurry up, park. Yeah. There's drugs in these packages. What the fuck? Let's go, boy. We have Panda Boys. Bitch Getting that good meal in. Stupid animal. Panda Boy. That's there you go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, look. You know how at the bottom it says uh, top shelf number one, right? Like the piece number one? Yeah. The two, three, four? It doesn't show me. You can't just count in divisions, so that's first, second, third, fourth. The thing is, I ran some of mine on yours. So it was like. We're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked. I don't know who's gonna get in the live. I had it as like one, two, three, four, five. Like each shirt was like numbered, right? But I didn't screen record the fucking live. I forgot to screen record. And right now it doesn't tell me who won what. Like when they buy something, so you don't know who to ship it to. Woo, fifty-five dollars with a steal. There we go. Thank you. Come on, Ralph. Yeah, all of it go to Ozo. All of it goes to Ozo. <laughs> but what? What goes to him? All of it. <laughs> he bought all of them. <laughs> ah. Boy, how are we gonna do this, bro? I don't know. All right, boys. So we just got back home. Uh, this is all the pieces. We finally brought them down. Uh, Trying to make a little aesthetic. You know, look pretty good. Uh, to my, in my opinion, it looks beautiful. But right here, we got around 250 plus shirts. Um, maybe a couple more, maybe a little bit less. I need to redo the count, but you know, my cameraman's gonna do it again. We're always gonna do the count on the bottom or left of the video. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Let's start showing up some of the pieces. All right, boys, so let's start off fucking hot. Uh, we got a very anticipated grill that I've wanted for a long time. We got the Got Milk. Uh, Tricks cereal promo. Oh, fuck, hold on, fuck what the fuck? Bro? You got the Tricks cereal promo, but it also says you got got milk single stitch on the fruit of the loom, uh, heavy cotton. This is a very nice shirt. I'm probably gonna keep this. You're probably never gonna see this for sale. Next, you got this like headphones promo tee with the like the radius of the the headphones. Uh, good colors, very nice graphic. Triple A tag. Then we got the Cincinnati Reds AOP. You don't really see this one a lot. Uh, no tag, cut tag, but still really good shirt. Good colors on it. Then we got a Boston Red Sox baseball uh, wrap around AOP on the Salem tag. Then we got like this uh, horror terror uh, Rob Zombie band tee. Got the Phoenix Suns NBA Finals uh, 1993. Got a really dope and rare one. You got the EA Sports. You got Tim Duncan on the NBA Live 2000 with a full uh, mullet front hit. Then we got the Leonardo da Vinci RT with the human and the circle bar. I don't remember the name of the, the art that he made, but this is a really cool one. I have a bunch of Leonardo da Vinci tees. Got a really dope and rare one. You got the Bart Simpson with the Raiders. Um, uh, doesn't have the year on it, but single stitch all around. Really dope one. <coughs> got the Charlotte Hornets uh, AOP with the nice colors on it, almost like crayon. Uh, 90s on the starter tag. This is a really dope one. I sold a similar one like this, uh, another promo of the Ready to Rumble 2 on the Faded Show. Uh, I was pretty sad of selling it, but luckily I got another one. Got this really dope uh, gray and red tag uh, Nike, but you got uh, Bugs Bunny, 
It's a wrap around. You got Jordan here on the side. Then in the bag, you got all the other characters. Then we got the AOP. Pretty sure this is the Buffalo Bills on the Ritz tag, uh, front and back. Really good colors on this, like a splatter to paint ish. Here we got a really, really good one, Boys to Men. You got the front right there with the back kit. I really like a lot of the Boys to Men tees because the color, like the gradient color on it, is one of the best I've seen on the shirt. Got a really dope, like a uh, Lightning Mighty Ducks uh, big face helmet, single stitch all around, no back kit. Got the Minnesota Twins baseball team, 1991, AOP, front and back kit. Then we got this uh, caricature, Marcus Allen. Uh, pretty sure this was with the Chiefs. Um, inexhaustible. Um, really good quote on there. And uh, what's it called? Player T. Then we got a really dope uh, 90s Mighty Ducks breakthrough. And if you guys knew, in the last video, I showed the same, uh, kind of same shirt, the MTV Rodman with the mullet hit. I have, I have this one in white but it has all, all the different colors in his uh, hair in the front. Unfortunately, this one's just black and white, but you know, I can't, can't hate, man. This is still a beautiful shirt. Got the 1999 Google Dolls Dizzy. Uh, really good colors in the back. I really like the back kit on one of the best tags, the red anvil tag. Got this Jimmy Z wrap around, really good colors on his surf skate, rotate, uh, Hawaii, uh, single stitch all around. Got this Apple T, it says education today, and then Ecudation. Ecu Got this really good apple tea. It says education today and then education tomorrow with the apple being all over Aiden. You got the Universal Love Tour, really cool graphic, also on the back. You got the LA Lakers 2002 or where's the year? Yeah, 2002 uh, Lords of the Rings, really cool shirt. Uh, I really love collecting a lot of Laker tees. They have some of the best colors and you know some of the best graphics. You got the 2010 uh, All Star in Dallas. I have like three of these. This is a really dope one because it's uh, you know hometown. You got a really dope, if not one of the best Maxwell tees. You got him uh, here standing in the rain with the back kit with his name, Maxwell. Size XL on the all sport tag, single stitch. You got another uh, red gray tag, Jordan. This one's really dope. I love the Jordan tees with the gray tag because the back kit is always the cleanest. I don't know why, but they always have some of the coolest graphics and they're one of the softest shirts. You got the offspring band tee with the box logo on the giant tag. Yeah, on the giant tag with the nice back kit. This is my, this is my double up on the Magic Johnson. You got like the water splash, big face, uh, no back kit, but a really dope shirt. You got the Phoenix Suns uh, basketball team. You got like the court right there being shown in the sketch and also in the back. Got a really cool two piece. Uh, the Motley Crew is the crew's back and the, they brought the doctor it says in the back. Really good uh, colors. Um, doctor X feel good. 1989 and then the second one got another molly crew it's got almost like um what's it called halloween vibes 1989 and 90 dr x feel good same tea got this 1996 and 97 picasso it's got espana on there which is a really dope collab um espana known as spain the country spain, spain is a country right uh, hopefully all right next up we got this uh, van halen on the giant tag uh, I'm not sure what tour this is, but I'm pretty sure this is like 98, 99. We got this uh, funny parody tee. You got the marijuana. Uh, what does it say right there? Uh, proud support of the snack food industry. You got the dude with the munchies. Uh, single stitch. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Changes tag. Here we go. We got another Mighty Ducks uh, breakthrough. This is the second one we got. Today's box on the size, uh, on a nutmeg tag, size large. This is by far one of the best Boston Bruin tees I've seen. It's got like uh, fireworks or... The stars in the back, really dope. Got this really weird, I think it's like an RT. It says J. David at the bottom. I guess it's the artist. I uh, got to do with the hand right there, his face. I think uh, I think it's like a self-portrait, I guess. Uh, we got the 1990 Fleetwood Mac behind the mask. One of the best Fleetwood Mac tees there is. Got this 1994 World Cup USA uh, soccer tee. Uh, you got all the cities, I guess, that were hosting the, the games. Got the Eagles, Hell Freezes Over, World Tour 1994, uh, probably one of their best uh, albums or tours. Single stitch all around on the Red Envelope tag. Got the Jimi Hendrix, Big Face, Fader, uh, on the good colors right there, purple. If you don't know, purple is my favorite color. Uh, single stitch with the name in the back. San Jose Sharks, AOP, wrap around. Actually, I did not know a lot of people actually like this team. Uh, whenever, every time I post them up or whatnot, people go crazy on this. Got this really simple uh, 1999 Nothing Can Stop This Rock Ariel Smith tour. Uh, I like the color on it. Um, I'm a big like brown beige fan. Got this uh, Denver Broncos like a uh, splash or watermark whatever. 
uh, really cool, very different design that us usually sports do. Uh, you got this 2001 So Many Roads uh, Festival, I believe. Uh, really good colors, almost like a Lollapalooza. One of my favorite tees to get is the Apple tees from the 90s. You got this Education Apple uh, Advantage. Really simple, but you got the box here right there and the single stitch. You got like, this uh, weird, uh, just ship, just a regular box logo of a ship. We got a banger, and I know bangers. Uh, you got the Get Smart promo right there, the guy holding this girl uh, with the really nice colors on it. Size XL on the foot of the loom, almost like a 2XL, but a really good shirt. You got this uh, Nintendo promo tee, it says, I'm no dweeb, I'm a total Nintendo player. Uh, you got the single stitch and the size, uh, the sleeve hit. You got this uh, soccer breakthrough, I'm not sure what team this is, SV... Uh, Werder Bremen. Werder Brenner, Brenner. Bremen. Bremen, my bad. On the nutmeg tag, size uh, large. Got another Charlotte Hornets uh, promo tee. Uh, really dope one. I love getting Hornet tees all the time. They're really good colors and they're a really good team. Uh, maybe not right now, but they're one of the most, you know, highly targeted teams. Uh, one of my favorite shirts, you guys always know that I always pick the shirt up. The 1992, 1993, and 96. Uh, they got the four championships right there at the moment. You know, they ended up getting more. But it's like the team photo. There's like a car caricature version of this. But on the starter tag, oh, this is rare, this is rare, this is rare. Washington Redskins breakthrough. You know, rare because the team is not even existing anymore. It's a different name now. Got a pretty crazy uh, 80s caricature. These are more rare. Uh, New York uh, New York Jets, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but really good one. Got the another cool shirt you don't really see every day. You got the Barcelona Giovanni player tee on the nutmeg tag. Really dope shirt. You don't really see, you know, soccer tees like this, especially on a high league team like this. Got this really cool Stevie Wonder, Love is the Key. Uh, what year is this? No year, but uh, pretty sure this is 80s because it's like on the Screen Stars tag. Really dope shirt. You got the Jurassic World. It's almost like a Tori Amos tee. I don't know if you guys ever seen her shirts, but you know, it's always got the like, circles going down. But Jurassic World promo, uh, no bad kit, but really dope. San Antonio Spurs, well, a great team to watch now. Uh, very cool graphic on a great tee, usually on the white or black, but um, not sure. Like really good colors. I actually like their logo better back in the day because of the pink. Uh, they don't really rock that anymore, but it's cool. Talking about the Spurs, got another Spurs tee right here with the basket and the hoop. Here we got a really cool Grateful Dead uh, running around. Uh, everybody's dancing in a ring around the sun. Uh, really cool. Oh, one of my favorite bands to collect is the Cure uh, band tee. Not only the front is cool, but the back is what it is. It's what it does for it. Always the back kit. And um, usually the AOPs are some of the best with the nice uh, lettering. The Cure, um, what's it called? Like their font is really different. Uh, really soft shirt, single stitch also on the Brockham, gray Brockham, top three tag. Got another Houston Rockets um, team, 1995 on the black version. Usually you get these in the white version, but the black ones are more rare. Got this really cool, it's like on the whiskey or whatever it is, the, it's like a parody of the Guns N' Roses, new number one band. Uh, the pretty sure this is like 80s, late 80s. Um, Paradise, pretty sure this is late 80s on the screen stars, faded out. We got the Santana tie-dye, not only the cool front hit, but you got the back hit right here with the, like the angel or whatever that is. Got a really, got a really, really crazy one, 2XL, Porno for Pyros. Uh, single stitch, AOP, it's got like the splatter. It almost has like that Magic Johnson T uh, vibe, but it's, oh yeah, because it's on the America T's uh, best tag. So really dope one. Uh, you don't really see this one a lot. I don't really see Pornos from Pyro's band tees in general a lot. Like y'all know, I love the Apple T's. You got another Apple T, really, um, really, really cool colors on it. Uh, the orange, like the neon orange. It says uh, user group. Uh, it's got like the dot 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 connection. Really dope on the Hanes beefy. Got a pretty obscure one. You got the, it's like the disc playing, the iPod mini, uh, promo T. Um, just simple, you know, just how the menu is, how the iPods were back in the days, and the back kit in the back. Uh, iPod mini with the nice colors on there. Pretty weird one. It says, I've been a really bad puppy, 1995, bad puppy productions. Uh, he's got the dog eating the other dog's ass. Um, really, really weird one, but it's pretty cool. Got the St. Louis Blues uh, AOP, the like Magic Johnson, uh, really dope. Uh, you know, you guys know I love my AOPs, and you guys seem to also, so I keep getting them for y'all. Sorry if I butched this guy's name. You got the, what's his name? Saku Koivu, Koivu, uh, Cana Canadians uh, hockey team. Uh, I, li I like these uh, player tees a lot. 
Um, they do them for hockey. I'm pretty sure they do them for basketball too. And these are really cool to collect on the pro player. I had no idea what this shirt is or who these are, but it says who's next. You got three or four guys that are standing in the, the desert or somewhere in the middle of nowhere. It's like a box logo. And then you got the it's single stitch on the all sport tag. Um, no idea who they are, or what it is, but it's a really dope shirt in my opinion. Here we got uh, the pro player, uh, Jerry Rice with the San Francisco 49ers. You know, top five wide receiver of all time. No debate. Here we got like the uh, 1986, 87, the Nightmare Returns, Alice Cooper. And you got a girl hanging uh, off a rope. And then the back here right there. Got a really weird parody, uh, Monkey Weed T, uh, Monkey C, Monkey Dubu. You got the monkey uh, smoking it up with the joint right there. And then, you know, their eyes are all freaking out. They're just puffing and huffing. Hey, West Montgomery, uh, musical guitarist. Um, not not very familiar with him, but a really dope shirt. One of my favorite style of sport tees. You got the Montreal Canadiens uh, wrap around AOP. These hockey AOP wrap arounds are so clean. You know, I showed the LA Kings early, earlier in the beginning of the video. These are some of my favorites to collect. You got the Indians, uh, uh, what's it called? Cleveland Indians. Uh, caricature, uh, pro player, 1995, really dope caricature with good colors on it. A very cool game that I grew up playing a lot, you got the Sonics Hedgehog, uh, Hedgehog. really cool tee, uh, really cool game that I grew up playing all the time as a kid, uh, you got the Sonic, the Hedgehog, uh, 3D Blast, the Sega promo, uh, Genesis, with the mullet hit. What's He's so funny? Hedgehog. Hedgehog, yeah, that's what he is. Hedgehog. Hedgehog. That's you got the 1995 Can't Stop Rocking Pat ben Benatar promo, band, tour, whatever. I'm not very familiar with her, but I like the shirt a lot. Very, very beautiful woman. Uh, this, let me get a crazy one for y'all. You got the Once on a Man's Mind. You got the dude right there, but you got a girl on his ma a, a girl on his head because, you know, it's on a, on a man's mind. That's what he's thinking about is a naked female. Uh, Dr. Sigmund Freud. Really dope one. Really soft tees, single stitch all around. You have the 2002 Offenders Reunion, Friday, March 8th. Uh, Austin uh, died in custody. I'm not very familiar with this, but uh, it looks like a movie a movie promo, I believe. Uh, you got the dudes with their hats on, like a detectives almost. He's got this gun right here pointing. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Got this uh, 1995 Love Sucks uh, right there. A really cool graphic. It's like cracking already. Uh, you can tell by the age. Pretty sure he's kissing a woman's hand right there. Saying that love sucks, probably got heartbroken. All right, one of my favorite shirts for tonight, you got the Chronic Snoop Dogg, smoking it up. You know, that's what he's known for, smoking and rapping. Uh, box logo, and the last video you guys seen that it, I had one just like this, but in green that says Stone. So really good cracking. I'm probably never gonna sell this ever in my life. I'm probably gonna keep those forever. Hey, right, we got the Clyde, the Clyde Drexler uh, Player T, Trailblazers, 1990, 1990 on the, on the dot. On the starter tag, got the MVP Charles Barkley um, in a league of his own. This is the year he won the MVP. It's a really cool, uh, cool and different style that Nike did. You got the mullet hit. You got the front right here on the red and gray tag, which I said this tag on ba on baseball, on basketball, and football tees are the best on this tag. I believe me, they're the most creative one. You got the James Dean promo on the Marina tag, another top three tag in my opinion. 1990 on the dot, I believe. Uh, no back kit, but really cool. Another one of my favorites from tonight is the Street Racer. I got the Gold Speed Racer Go, the wraparound, and the back kit right there. AOP on the changes tag. One of the best promo tees there is. One of my favorite singers to, to buy is the Tori Amos uh, Orbiting to Venus and Back uh, Tour. I'm pretty sure this is like 2000, 2001. Maybe a little bit, little bit older. On the Red Anvil tag. Uh, really cool shirt. It's got some of my favorite colors on there. Now we got a really, really rare uh, Rip Hamilton when he played for the Pistons, uh, Shadow T and Big Face. Uh, you got the back here right there with his name and the team. Size XL on the exclusive collection NBA tag. Uh, not, not, I've never seen this shirt before. I'm pretty sure it says Shark Iron right there on the front. And it says uh, carniv uh, Party Carnivores from the Depths. You got the, the robotic girl right there. The sharks floating around. Uh, really soft shirt. I actually like this one a lot. I like the graphic a lot. Never seen this one before though. I should have shown this one right after, but you got a uh, Ben Wallace. Not he wasn't on the Pistons on this, but you got the shadow, uh, big face. He was on the Chicago Bulls, number three. One of the best defensive players to ever step on the court. All right, we got the Holyfield versus Tyson. I have the same shirt, but you got shirt. Tyson instead of Holyfield. Uh, 1996. 
this is whenever he, it was his turn. Um, mullet hit. Um, I have, like I said, I have the same shirt, but instead of him, it's Mike Tyson, which is really dope. Obviously, I prefer Mike Tyson better, but you know, it's really cool to have both now. Got the Steve Miller uh, tour, 1998. Uh, really dope shirt. I had another Steve Miller tee. This is like my second to ever own. I regret selling the last one, so it's really cool to have this one now. Got the Grateful Dead. Uh, what's it called? Uh, tie dye. Look at blue. They got them playing hockey, which is really fucking crazy. Uh, 1994. Uh, the back kit right here. Uh, I've never seen this one before. A really dope one. Got the Olympics uh, from the Dream Team, I believe. Um, Magic Air Legends. You got uh, Magic Johnson and Jordan right there on the box. It's like an art, art, artistic tee. It's almost like a Picasso tee, I believe. That's kind of what it reminds me of the art. All right, so we got this uh, Orlando Magic wraparound AOP. It says Aerial Assault. Uh, really dope on the Salem tag. One of the best shirts that I uh, style sport tees, in my opinion. We got the Bo Kimball caricature player tee uh, from the Clippers. All right, so we got a Rangers football club, um, the Bears, Adidas breakthrough. Uh, really dope one. I don't really see a lot of soccer breakthroughs like that, so it's a really cool one to have. Got a 2000 on the dog, Foo Fighters, uh, single stitch on the all sport tag. Uh, I like getting a lot of Foo Fighters tees. They're one of the coolest. They have some of the simplest, but you know, creative graphics. We got a really, really cooked Lenny Kravitz uh, 1991 World Tour. Right here on the sleeves, this is not dirty. It's just because every, the rest of the shirt is like all like sun faded, except for the, you know, like the armpit right there. But I honestly think it's a really dope tee. I honestly think like that shirt just makes it, you know, better. Um, it's, it's supposed to be a black shirt. Like my pants are black and then you got the sun fade right there. You got the 2004 Detroit Pistons when they won the world championship. Uh, you got Ben Wallace on there, Rip Hamilton, I believe. Um, you know, I got the, I got the shadow tees too. So this is a really dope, um, you know, just collection to get because I collect a lot of Detroit Pistons tees. We got this uh, Charles Barkley single stitch. Like I said, uh, another gray red uh, Nike tag. One of the, the best tag for fucking basketball and sport tees. I'm trying to tell y'all they have some of the best graphics uh, right here. Like, this is just an example right here. Come on, guys. We got the Chicago Bulls uh, Magic Johnson AOP. Um, you got the front and back kit. One of the softest shirts that I got today, uh, single stitch. Uh, this is uh, one of the most rare ARP, AOPs, because there's a there's a lot of variants. Uh, we got this McDonald's uh, sponsorship for a tennis, I, I'm pretty sure. And you got Coca-Cola in the back. Pretty sure it's like an 80s tee. Uh, just a cool one to have. This is almost like an anatomy, but for like guns. You got the Submachine uh, Gun MP, it says 5A2A3. Uh, it just shows the breakdown of the whole gun. It's single stitch, and then you got the mullet here right there, front. Uh, really dope. I like collecting a lot of these gun shirts. Um, they're just kind of harder to find. Uh, even though they're not like the craziest value tees, they're just really cool. We got this 1997 tic-tac-toe uh, group on the blue screen star size medium. Uh, really dope. I've never really seen a lot of shirts of the of this uh, group, so nice to have. You got this Depeche Mode band tee. You got the Euro Tour. You got Canada, England, Portugal. Uh, all the tour dates in the back and uh, places on the gym tag, size XL. Here we got another Lakers uh, 3P 2002 World Champion. Uh, you got Kobe and Shaq in the back, nice colors. Uh, I have the white variant you guys seen earlier, now we got the yellow one. Got another gray, gray red tag, Nike. Uh, this is like a USA Just Do It Olympics, home of the Brave. You got the back here right here, you got Michael Jordan, uh, John Stockton. Charles Barkley, got this uh, Grateful Dead, Luca Blue, tie-dye, uh, they're usually always on a tie-dye, but I really like this one, you got the bear just driving around. You got the USA versus Bolivia, uh, soccer, appreciate sure this is 1994, yeah, 1994 World Cup, uh, when uh, USA uh, hosted it on the trench, single stitch. All right, one of my favorite shirts for today, you got the King of the Hill, but I usually get these in a white, it's really nice to have this in black, I'm probably not gonna sell this one, uh, hopefully it fits me perfect. Uh, it looks a little bit long, but I'm probably just gonna crop it on the Toltex tag. Uh, we got a, the Terminator 2 uh, Judgment Day. Uh, it's kind of sad that this one doesn't have a bad kit or like you know the face of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, however you say his name. Uh, single stitch, but you know this is probably one of my favorite movies to get as promo tees. I don't really buy a lot of movie promo tees. All right, so we got the Duke uh, basketball team, uh, college, university, whatever. Uh, Duke that blue. Fuck this! Alright, we got this pretty rare one. Uh, it's a Duke Blue Devils University. Uh, it's basketball. Uh, you got the guy Duncan right there. Really cool graphic. You don't really see these a lot. 
just in love with this, man. Just in love. This is this is my love. If you want to give me a gift, just give me a shirt with that tag. You got the Charles Barkley, uh, like a cartoonish. Pretty sure it's like a, the festival version. Uh, just him dunking the ball. No back hit. Got this really crazy Keith Haring Free South Africa RT. You got the guy on the leash just stepping on there. Uh, not sure what year it is, but this is a pretty rare one. You don't really see this one a lot. This is by far probably my favorite Bulls tee there is in the world because it has this rare variant in the back. Uh, there's a lot of you know there's a lot of styles in this one, but the back kit. Uh, this is the the rarest variant. Uh, the the colors are just amazing. You just never really see this one a lot. Uh, you got a um, what's uh, Scotty Pippen and Michael Jordan right there. Uh, thanks for the ride. This is when they won the championship in 1993. So yeah, this is a really dope one. Prime, you know, a top three for tonight. My favorite Bulls see there is out there. Talking about the Bulls, you got another Bulls. This is another rare one. I'm pretty sure this is like a parking lot blue because uh, this is not just one you see a lot and it's on a different faded tag. You know, it's not licensed to anybody else. So yeah, pretty sure this is like a boot, but this is a 90s boot, so it's a really dope one. Just to keep it on the roll, here we got another Jordan on the best tag. There is in the sports, uh, just you know, regular Jordan, just in the air, holding the ball with one hand, uh, spell out with the back here, right there. No, no, nothing in the back and the side right there. One of the crazier sport tees for tonight. Uh, you got the University of Kentucky uh, AOP with the splatter all over, uh, Wildcat to the bottom. We got the guy dunking there, cartoon. When I first grabbed this shirt, or whenever I first uh, looked at it, I thought it was a Picasso tee, but it's the Paul Simon Graceland tour. Uh, you got the like the instrumental notes in the back, which is uh, really just his tour dates, I think, or in a different language. Uh, I'm not gonna guess what language it is. You know, I'm not trying to offend anybody. You got the Vlade Divaj um, coin tee from the Sacramento Kings. Uh, this is another rare sports tee on the CSA tag. Another one of the coolest uh, styles is the coin tees. Uh, I wasn't very familiar with this one, but it says uh, Midnight Oil, uh, Diesel No and No Diesel and Dust. Uh, it's got like a blood writing on the top right there and then the house right there. Uh, I'm, I have to search this one up, but uh, I just wanted to show this off before anything. Oh, my bad game, my bad game, my bad game. Here we got another Sonic Hedgehog um, <laughs> Sega promo. What the fuck are you laughing at? We got another Sonic Hedgehog Sega. Uh, are you up to Look. up to it? Uh, 1992 right there, license and dated. It says, uh, goodbye, yellow brick road. Yeah, brick road, Elton John. Uh, it's got the back here right there. It's like leaving the city. It's walking away. I don't know what it means, but never watched or heard his music. We got the Moody Blues Time Travel Tour. Uh, one of my favorites to pick up. The Moody Blues are always cool. Um, got the front here right here. I don't know. It's like a. It's got leaving the tunnel. It's like a. I don't know. Like a maze. I don't know. Some type of cool shit. Got the. Wow. Got the. He's back. Number 45. Michael Jordan when he came back after he retired for the first time in the NBA. On the Salem tag, no back hit, but I'm 100% certain that's fucking Michael Jordan. Got the Chicago Bulls, AOP, Magic Johnson, uh, front and back in 1991, NBA Finals. Got a really cool 1994 uh, World Cup, USA, with the, the dog in the back. They always use him for all the 1994 tees. Um, it's got a cool gradient all over the tee. It's like a dust or like an earth type of tone. Got the University of Wildcats uh, shadow tee. Uh, these are pretty rare to pick up. Single stitch, front and back, AOP. Here's another really cool one, 1994 World Cup, but it's uh, Germany. You got the Germany flag on the side here right there, and then 1994 right there. Got the FC Barcelona uh, player. You got the FC Barcelona uh, club, football club right there. Um, you know, La Liga, a top two team in the La Liga because first is Real Madrid. You got the Hello Newman Seinfeld 1996 uh, Castle Rock Entertainment license on the NBC tag. Uh, it says Hello Jerry, uh, really cool one. Ooh, this one's cooked. Uh, I don't know if it's actual shirt like that, but I'm pretty sure it's the bleach. But I don't give a fuck because this is actually makes it ten times better. You got the Charles Barkley uh, character for the Houston Rockets, uh, front and back it. But um, damn, I don't know. I think this just makes it way better in my opinion. Hey, you got the Chicago Bulls wrap around uh, AOP on the Salem tag. You got the Beastie Boys in a little uh, fucking what? What is it? What is that one? A fish called the sardines. Sardines, sardines type of can with the back kit. All right, you got this uh, Batman uh, NASCAR T uh, single. You got the Dream Team Pro Player caricature when it was the Olympics team. Uh, all of them are on there. You got Charles Barkley, Shaq, um, Michael Jordan, of course, Scottie Pippen, 
etc etc you got the nintendo ds promo metroid prime hunters ring t you got the carrots bar mitzvah i was actually very happy to obtain this shirt you got the mbk natural born killers got the 90s utah jazz on the logo 7 tag got the revenge of the goldfish t one of my other favorite movie promos got the wayne's world t you got the kenny lofton player t we got the 80s rem band t you got the 90s the beatles band t Got the good Charlotte 90s band tee. We got this Atlanta Braves AOP, like just, or just, you know, their, their sign right there, just covering the whole tee. You got the Ganja, Bart Marley, Smoking It Up parody. Got my boy Shannon Sharp, the fucking freak. You guys, if you guys know about the internet, this motherfucker's a freak now. All right, you got the Raiders. Um, you got the cartoonish. Uh, Raiders tees always go for fucking crazy. You got the North Carolina AOP front and back hit. All right, it's, we got the Autodesk uh, 3D Studio World Creating Toolkit. It says Go Build a Planet. Uh, I'm not sure. This is like a like a lab tee or whatever. We got the Jerry Rice uh, player tee with the San Francisco 49ers. We got the Boston Bruins uh, AOP Magic Johnson front and back kit. We got the 90s Fade No More uh, band tee with the Every Language in the Back. I had this one in a different variant, but this was way better. We got 1997 Lilith Fair uh, with Tour with the back right there. I got the Tatas with the plant, you know what I'm saying? Who the fucking loves it? Who doesn't love that? We got the Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation 1990 front and back kit. One of the best Janet Jackson tees, which I'm running today. No, tomorrow, Wednesday, March 13th for a dollar. Got the America's uh, Favorite Tees. Uh, it's like a collab with like a Magic Johnson Denver Nuggets. We got, in my opinion, the best Magic Johnson tee there is. The LA Lakers uh, front and back kit right there. We got a pretty rare team. You, you don't usually see the Seattle Supersonics. Uh, sadly, they, you know, they're not a team anymore, but it's really cool to have now. We got this uh, 1990s Dope Busters, and in the back it says Ebony and Ivory Kennels, which I'm pretty sure this is like a, what's it called, like a, a test print. Wasn't supposed to be made, but it's still really cool. We got the Riddle uh, front and back kit. This was a uh, Miami Dolphins, but it's not like a regular AOP because it's uh, on the Riddle, which is the, the brand of the helmet. So it's a really dope one right there. Got the Duke Blue Devils, uh, another pretty crazy one. It's got their embroidery right there uh, on the Team Edition tag. You got this, uh, I, I don't know, this is like a dancer. It says Fosse, and in the back you got the guy dancing. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, not very familiar, but it's pretty cool. You got uh, the Star Picks, Steve Smith, and you got the stats in the back. We got the Detroit Red Wings uh, player tee right here. You got this uh, Dire Straits on every street, front and back kit, Euro. Got the Sting, set them free. Very clapped and faded, which is how I like them with the nice colors. Got another 2010 All-Star uh, lineup right there. Got the 1996 NBA Finals Seattle Supersonics. Red and gray tag Nike. Uh, Andre Agassi, uh, Tennessee. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but you got the Andy Williams on the power Anita tag. You got this uh, Team Evolution a, a hockey tee. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually supposed to be a guy or, he, or a monkey. Uh, like Evolution, you know how. We all came as monkeys. Got this 1997 Emilou Harris uh, Wrecking Ball World Tour. With the front and back with the dates. We got another uh, King of the Hill. It says, yep, right there, Real Americans. Uh, I've never seen this one, but I'm probably going to keep this, to be honest. Got a Dave Matthews Band. I'm pretty sure this is probably one of his best shirts, in my opinion, because it's back here, right here. You got the U2 Pop, Pop Mart Tour with the dates and the tour places in the back. You got the Cleveland Indians Pro Player Team. You got the Marilyn Manson Hollywood. Uh, this is a really crazy one. I've never seen this shit. Uh, it's probably gonna run for a dollar on my faded show. You got the 1985, the big snit. You got this tee that I've been wanting for so fucking long. You got the smiley kill shot. Uh, with the front right there is him getting shot in the face. And then in the back, you just got the, the breakthrough of him just getting blasted from the gunshot. Uh, this is a personal. It's probably never gonna leave the closet because I've been trying to acquire this for so long. And if you have the white version, please let me know. You got the Warrant Cherry Pie World Tour 1991. I've actually like been wanting to get this shirt for the longest. Uh, this, in my opinion, this is one of the best you know graphics there is out there for band tees. We got this uh, 90s Grateful Dead Play Dead long sleeve. Uh, you got Yogi Bear in the back. You got the peanut characters. Uh, you got um, Snoopy himself right there. Uh, really dope shirt. Um, I don't really like long sleeves, so I'm probably just gonna run this for a dollar and let go of it. We got the white zombie. In my opinion, this is the best white zombie shirt there is. You got the beautiful woman in the front with the glossiness and the sparkles. And in the back, the mechanic guy. We got the shorty skateboarding tee. Uh, if you fold it to a certain way, it, it says, fuck you. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Nah. We got the shorty skateboard. It says, fuck you right there. Um, 
really dope. Uh, it took me a while to get to it, but it's really cool. So the last shirt of the video, uh, the best shirt in my opinion. Nah, not a fuck my opinion, honestly. The best shirt overall. Um, you got the butthole surfers, Dawn Rock. Um, you got the on the foot of the loom, size XL. You got the back tour dates and the, and the places. Uh, this one's a fucking grill in my opinion. This is a really crazy shirt. I'm probably not gonna sell this pretty soon. Um, but yeah, that's it for all the all the shirts that we recorded today. Uh, you guys can see the stacks. Uh, they're not very clean how they were at the beginning. But who gives a fuck? But I just want to show y'all since tomorrow is my show. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be running for my show tomorrow. You got the Johnny Chainsaw size XL. You got the Kobe Bryant coin player T. Got the Marilyn Manson right there. King of the Hill. The Janet Jackson, the Rolling Stones Fractal, Shaq, Player T, and the Sun Devils AOP. None of these are from the actual box. These are just from previous shirts. Uh, I'm taking photos right now, as y'all can see over there. Um, so yeah, y'all come show love on whatnot, Jelly's World on whatnot. Uh, check the link in my bio, and I'm gonna put the, the name right here for my whatnot. Instagram, everything you know. Uh, like and subscribe, put no notifications on because we're dropping content all the fucking year long. And we'll be going to uh, Atlanta in about a week and a half. So, yeah, stay tuned. That's it for the video. I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all take care, man.